Good afternoon from the National Weather Service office in Gaylord. Welcome to the latest hazardous weather briefing for eastern, upper, and northern lower Michigan. Today is Thursday, July 11th, 2013. It does look like the forecast will be trending drier through the weekend as high pressure will be remaining in control of the region. But we do expect temperatures to climb over the next several days and the conditions should be rather warm and sticky as we get into the early part of next week. So things will become increasingly uncomfortable uh, with temperatures likely topping the 90 degree mark uh, starting perhaps as early as Sunday afternoon but uh, looks for certain on Monday. And we may continue to see temperatures uh, around the 90 degree mark uh, running through the middle of next week. Uh, this hot and humid weather may also spark some thunderstorms. A little bit, the better chance for that uh, may hold off until we get to the middle of next week. Here's the current weather map for uh, the afternoon hours of Thursday. We see a broad area of high pressure over the uh, upper Great Lakes region extending back into the Midwest. And that area of high pressure will be holding on over the next couple of days. Uh, that will provide some cool temperatures tonight and then once that high begins to move to the east and winds begin to pick up out of the south we will see warmer weather begin to move uh, into the upper Great Lakes region. Here's the forecast weather map for Friday afternoon. We see that high pressure system moving off to the east. There's a cold front off to the west over central Canada and uh, the Dakotas and Montana. Uh, that will try to move into the region but it's going to get stretched out more in a northeast southwest fashion over the next couple of days and will primarily remain north of Lake Superior through the weekend and that is where most of the precipitation activity is expected to focus um, over the, uh, the coming days and that is expected to keep uh, northern Michigan pretty much dry uh, through uh, at least Sunday afternoon. Here's a forecast weather map by Saturday evening and we see that front uh, getting stretched out across northern Ontario and that is where it's likely to stay heading into the early part of next week. We see precipitation over the upper Midwest, even trying to reach into western parts of upper Michigan by Saturday evening. But at this point, it looks like any kind of impacts of this system on uh, northern Michigan's weather will be some uh, mid and high clouds uh, spreading across uh, eastern upper Michigan and the Straits region uh, for Saturday and into parts of Sunday. Here's a three-day uh, precipitation total forecast. This runs from tonight through Sunday afternoon, just sort of reiterating the idea of uh, mainly dry weather across uh, much of Michigan. We'll see precipitation uh, upstream of us across the upper Midwest and trying to sneak into western parts of upper Michigan, and there'll be more rain off to our south and southeast. But it does look like at this point, uh, northern Michigan will be dry through the weekend. And here's a taste of what we're looking at into early next week. This is uh, forecast high temperatures for next Tuesday afternoon. Uh, and we see some upper 80s and, a and around 91 degree reading at Traverse City. And it's likely the temperatures will be a couple degrees warmer than that. Uh, we are expecting uh, some more widespread 90 degree readings uh, for the early part of next week across a good chunk of northern Michigan. Uh, and along with that heat, we will see some increasing humidity as well. So uh, heat index values will be well into the 90s. Uh, for at least the first half of next week. So just keep that in mind if you have outdoor plans uh, starting uh, even Sunday afternoon, but especially going into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. So again, no real hazards for the next couple of days, and we do expect a, a warming trend in the forecast uh, and also a more humid trend, especially as we get to the early part of next week. That concludes this hazardous weather briefing for this afternoon. Thank you for listening in. The next update is expected around 5 a.m. Friday morning.